Welcome back. We made it to the middle of the week. We have a look outside right now. This is Highway 101 in San Luis Obispo, right near Los Osos Valley Road. Traffic is flowing, looks really good out there, and clear in San Luis Obispo. But if we take a look at our current conditions with other places across the Central Coast, you'll notice some of those low clouds filling in, especially near the beaches. Temperatures right now ranging from the upper 50s to about the mid 60s, just depending on where you are. A little bit warmer right now for the inland valleys. And winds are calm. They'll pick up slightly heading into the afternoon, but you'll notice it more as we head into Thursday and Friday. Talking about this morning, low clouds stretching from northern San Luis Obispo County down to the south coast region. And we do have some slightly cooler temperatures for those inland valleys. Other parts of the central coast, like the coastal valleys, the beaches, they're also cooling down by about one to six degrees. Not too much there, but more significant cooling for the inland valleys, about 10 degrees. And let's take a look here at the Paso Robles hourly forecast. About mid 60s, around eight o'clock this morning, temperatures are gradually going to climb into the 70s through about 11 o'clock and then we're in the 80s by 1 o'clock. Daytime high for Paso close to about the low 90s, but as those temperatures increase, so do the winds. We're getting pretty close to 20 mile per hour winds by this afternoon. They will start to taper off as we head into about 8 o'clock this evening. And by 1 o'clock today, you can see most of the area is going to be clear. A lot of that fog and marine layer will be pushed off the coastline by then. But if we're talking about late tonight, it will fill right back in over the coast, kind of linger through the early morning hours on Thursday, and then we'll get that gradual clearing once again. But for your upper levels today, I was talking about this earlier in the week where this ridging is starting to flatten a little bit. So that's allowing for these temperatures to cool down slightly. But if we're talking about Saturday and Sunday, there is some more intense ridging happening over the West Coast region. And if you see at the bottom of your screen, by the end of your weekend, we actually have some warmer temperatures. So once that starts to increase, so do our temperatures. And taking a look at your wind forecast here, a little bit calm for this morning and then picking up slightly heading into the afternoon. We did see for Paso that those winds could get close to about 20 miles per hour. There's potential for other areas for those wind gusts to get closer to about 25 miles per hour. And for your school day forecast in Arroyo Grande, we have low 60s, mostly cloudy conditions as you're heading out the door and heading into school. And right around pickup between 2 and 3 o'clock, low 70s, but with mostly sunny skies. And here's a look at those daytime highs today. We're even cooling down a little bit for San Luis Obispo. We're back in the upper 70s, but Santa Barbara, still a little bit on the warmer side, low 80s there today. Santana's Valley from the mid 80s to the low 90s for certain areas. And for five cities region, upper 60s for places like Pismo, but as we're moving a little bit further inland for areas like Arroyo Grande, closer to the low 70s. 66 degrees in the forecast for Los Sosos, and we have low to upper 60s today along the North Coast. I'll send it back to you.